One year ago today, one of the strongest, most devastating tornadoes to ever hit the U.S. claimed 161 lives in Joplin, Missouri. The city has since been struggling to recover emotionally and physically. Gina Kim has more. The morning began with lanterns filling the sky as those who lived through last year's tornado recalled how it changed their lives. When the storm hit, I was on the ground floor. Um, I was struck by something, most likely a cinder block from the wall next to me. Um, I suffered severe head injuries, including a split chin, broken jaw, crushed teeth, torn gums, and a severe concussion. 18-year-old Malachi Murdoch was one of nearly a thousand people who were hurt on this day last year when an EF5 category tornado ripped through Joplin and Duquesne, Missouri. But they were the lucky ones. In just 30 minutes, the mile-wide tornado had killed more than 150 people and damaged or destroyed some 10,000 homes and buildings. We turned on our weather radio and... Uh, and heard that St. John's had been hit. <laughs> and the, the, uh, the announcer's voice had the fear in it that um, we knew it was really bad. Today, the scars are still everywhere, but new homes keep springing up. On this anniversary day, the city broke ground on three new schools, and the spirit of Joplin is stronger than ever. The selflessness and generosity and the love and care that the people of Joplin showed on May 22nd has defined us as a city. We are Joplin, and I pray that we never forget the magnitude that is in that. Now, as part of our coverage of this disaster last year, we sent SNN Local News 6 anchor John Hill to survey the damage and give you a first-hand look at the recovery. His report earned John and SNN Local News 6 a Telly Award. <laughs> 